Hi everyone. Today I will be talking about twisted decreases. If you're new to my channel, I put out a new knitting technique video every Friday, so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Twisted decreases are decreases that are twisted. The key with twisted decreases is that both of the stitches involved in the decrease are twisted. Not just the top one, not just the bottom one, but both of them. So this is how they look. And there are four different twisted decreases that you can use in your knitting. They, two of them lean left and two of them lean right. To work your basic knit side twisted decreases, the simplest of these is the knit two together through the back loops. So instead of a knit two together as normal, you knit two together like so. And this twists both of those stitches and it leans the opposite direction from a knit two together. It leans left instead of leaning right. And both of those stitches are twisted. I'll work that once more. So I don't go like this. I go like this through the back loops. And this is assuming that the right legs are in front, like our normal knitting. Now the other, the, the pair to that stitch then is the twisted SSK. We will slip one knitwise, slip one knitwise, place them back and then knit them together like so. And that twists them and it leans to the right. An SSK leans to the left, but a twisted SSK leans to the right with both stitches twisted at their base. If we pull this apart, you can see that that stitch is twisted and that stitch is twisted. So I'll do that once more, knit one normal, slip one knitwise, slip one knitwise, place them back for a wise. Instead of working them like so, which is a normal SSK, I will then knit them together through those front loops, like so. That is a twisted SSK. So here I am on the wrong side. The, the mate to the knit two together through the back loops is the purl two together through the back loops. So instead of going into these two and purling them together like a normal purl two together, I, I move the needle like an an SSP, like a regular SSP. I'm going from behind into the second stitch first and the first and then the first stitch and I'm purling them together. So I'm purling them together through the back loop. So I caught that strand. Let me, there we go. Purling two together. I still split that yarn. Okay, through the back loops. When I turn this to the right side, you can see those are both twisted and it's leaning to the left, just like our knit two togethers through the back loop. So on the wrong side, the purl two together through the back loop is its mate. I'll show you that again. I'm coming around behind and entering the back leg of the second stitch and then the first stitch and then purling those two together like so. Then 
the mate to the twisted SSK is the twisted SSP. So you slip one knitwise, slip one knitwise, and then you just purl them together like so. And if I turn that to the right side, you can see they are both twisted and it is leaning to the right, just like our twisted SSK. I'll show you that one more time. Oops, got the stitch. There we go. All right, slip one knitwise, slip one knitwise, slip them back, and you can just leave the needles like this to purl, like so. So those are the right-leaning and left-leaning twisted de sing single, these are all single decreases. Now when would you use these? You would use these in uh, twisted stitch knit uh, patterns, uh, so um, where there's columns of twisted knit stitches um, and you want to maintain the look of the, that twisted stitch pattern or anywhere you want to draw attention to the fact that there are decrease, have been decreases used, you can uh, use them to decorative effect. So those are twisted decreases. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you so much for watching.